Ground, 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 ground your energy, ground, ground. What is grounding? Grounding, with my feet on the ground. Where is the ground? Where am I? Where are you? Do you ever feel, especially those who live in large cities, that you're not grounded? How many people are living more and more not literally on the ground? In condos, apartments, high rises, whatever word we call it, even in houses. Are you living on the first floor? Some are. A lot of us aren't. But there are ways that we can ground in our everyday life that can have a huge impact on how we live. Today I thought I'm going to make a video. I want to share with you a message of being grounded when I'm not feeling grounded because I think it's really easy to share. I'm an expert. I'm feeling good at this. I'm really grounded. I'm secure. I'm an expert, yeah. But a real expert to me is somebody who shows their vulnerability. Somebody who shows that, okay, I'm not feeling grounded right now and I'm not that way a thousand percent of the time. There might be some days where I'm not. It's about sharing what is right for me and what's right for you in a time when it isn't working. What do I mean by that? Let me explain. I am not feeling grounded right now, but I'm able to ground. You will see me for your very eyes by the end of this five, ten minutes or longer come into a place of being grounded. There are many ways to do it. The first one I recommend is going for a walk, 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 walk. Walk, move your body is good, but literally being on the ground. Now, if you don't live near a beautiful park or the water or the mountains or wherever, then go walk down a city street, down an alley, in the fields, wherever that is for you. You can look at the moon, look at the stars, see your star, look at the stars. You think, how is that grounding me when I'm looking up? It does because it makes you go, I'm here on the ground and I reach up, being grounded. When you're not grounded, you can feel kind of flighty, especially those empaths out there. You might want to see one of my videos on, how to, on those who are empaths, how to be an empath and what to do with it. It's about using your own energy when you're feeling a lot of people's stuff. I mean, the internet, that makes me ungrounded. There are things I love about it. We connect, I love sharing what makes you grounded? Put it down below. I'd love for you to share with the whole community out there what's working for you. But the internet is definitely not grounded. There's so many places, and again, images. I've talked about this, like, boom, 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 boom. You can look at TV the same way, but the internet especially. You can get so much information. Think about in an hour. How much information did you just process in the course of one hour? You're going to be like, boom, 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 image, 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 this conversation. You can talk to like 10 million people at once, which is pretty amazing. But it can be very energetically, yeah, that's the best way I'll describe it is not in words, but in feelings and using your heart and going, ah, so much stuff. Okay, back to the nature, looking outside. If you can't go outside, say you have a handicap, look outside the window. I'm doing that right now to speak to you right now looking outside, the evening is coming, and I am looking outside at the clouds, watching my breathing. I'm expressing it out to you as a way that I want to help others, including myself. That's another way you can be grounded. It doesn't have to be the conventional ways that we've been told. That's what I think, and that's what I've found to be true. Other ways you can be grounded, I talked about this in cutting cords. You can think about cords of coming from your feet down into the earth. But I really suggest going into the earth. And if you want to take it a step further, like supercharge your life, I feel really silly doing it. But in the most wonderful way, go out somewhere where there's literally earth. It can be a park, wherever. Not sidewalk, where there's actually like grass or that kind of thing, or it can be in the water, and literally take your socks off, take them off, or take mine off, take off, take off the socks, take off your socks, okay, and go barefoot, dance barefoot, 
move around. It's not even dance. It's just go barefoot and laugh at it. Laugh. <laughs> and it is scientifically proven. Like you think of a current and they talk about grounding the energy and that is literally what you're doing. Sucking it into the earth. Like it's going in there, whether it gets all dissipated, you can look it up yourself, but I've researched it and it's true. Electromagnetic frequency, EMF, I know all about it. That's part of what I'm saying is disconnecting from that and watching the breeze. Watching, you think, how do you watch breeze? You just look in between. Talk about space of in-between, a really powerful exercise in my book, Easy Enlightenment, Transform Your Life in 30 Days. So much more than just being grounded. And why would you want to be grounded? Because you want your mind to be clear. You want to feel a sense of relief that you're not having less anxiety of, oh my God, ah, so many thoughts, or I know I need to do this, or I have all this energy, but I need to channel it into something. So again, that comes back to creation. Create, create, create. Or it can just be letting it out like this, moving your hands, moving around, moving around, moving around, moving around. <sighs> out, 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 out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Isn't that a song? Shake it out. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another way you can ground is you can hold a stone. Let me get one. What's that? Doesn't matter, it can be any stone. If you're not into crystals, that's fine. Again, lipidolites, these crystals, there are some of them that have lithium in them. They're usually more purple tone, blah, blah, always can help as well. And then look at my video on crystals where I share the love of it, but also a secret that you wouldn't expect me to say about crystals. And I talk about, there is actual science of it as well. And I have an upcoming really interesting video on that actually, so stay tuned. It's coming. And use it. You can, in your hand, you can hold it. I mean, these are from the earth. They are literally from the earth. Ground. You can eat ground root vegetables like carrots. That's one that's grounded. I personally don't necessarily always find food to be grounding. Another one that is hugely helpful to me is having a glass of water. And water is clear. There's no ingredients added, it's simply water. Well, who knows these days. But most times it's just water. Water. Boku no. Low. Low, low, low. Water. Water. Oh, yes. I'm starting to feel more grounded as I speak to you again. Look at something green. That's something that's strange, like leaves or green. There is a thing they talk about called the outside in and interior design that's bringing the outside in and the green is used as a place that's supposed to be when you think of calm or you think of healthy and nourishing and the trees are healthy, they are usually green. And it's vital and healthy. And another grounding thing can be silence. That seems scary to you. You can do in small amounts of a few seconds. <clears throat> Here I go. <clears throat> Clear your throat. That's another one. <clears throat> <clears throat> Literally, clear. Use the power of sound. Sound is really powerful. It's a really powerful thing. Use the power of your voice. I am grounded, even if you don't feel that. Yeah, affirmations, incantations, whatever word you want. I am grounded. I am grounded. Grounded is where I want to be. Grounded is where I am. Grounded is a decision. And smile. A small smile. Not a big one. Go for the subtle. Find one object in your room that you love. Just keep it to one. Why? Because it's getting you to focus could be a chair. That's the one I'm looking at right now. There's a purple chair in my room. I'm looking at it. And for whatever reason, that's what's grinding me right now. It's really getting to me calm and writing. I really would suggest writing if you don't like the old fashioned pen to paper. You can do an iPad, I, whatever your preferred method is, but express. 
movies. So let me recap real quick. Being grounded is something we need to do in this day and age, and it's something that we can enjoy in ways that are profound and easy and fun and talk it out. You can be grounded just like I have come. I hope you see that I've transformed. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, the method and pace that I'm speaking. I am much more centered and calm than I was at the beginning of this video. So I showed you right before your eyes small little ways to make you just that a little bit more calmer, centered, and grounded. What are your ways?